This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Hey, listen, folks, uh, organizations around the world spend billions of dollars every year to awaken and engage their employees. Yet global employee engagement remains fixed at a low 13%. The acceleration of change each year leaves more and more frontline workers paralyzed and trying to keep up. The disengagement problem usually begins with the CEO telling human resources to fix it, says our next guest, David Harder, who is the founder and president of Inspired Work. He's a career and organizational development firm that has helped more than 42,000 people transform their relationships uh, toward work. And he says, but unless the CEO or the business owner takes charge of engagement, it's a useless battle. David Harder, welcome to the Experience Press Radio Show. Thank you so much, Eric. It's good to be with you. Hey, it's great to have you on the program. And, you know, we see this uh, an awful lot. We've got a couple of friends who are in the engagement conversation and training space uh, for firms, both small and large. And uh, you, you mentioned, you know, in that last line that I just, just read, unless the CEO or business owner takes charge of engagement, it is a useless battle. I agree with you 100%. And I believe that leadership and and uh emphasis on those such such things has to trickle down from the top and wh- wh- why is that and and why aren't we seeing better results from our CEOs well we have we have to recognize that globally there's uh 87% disengagement according to Gallup's last uh global engagement survey and if the numbers are that high uh we can we can make a pretty safe bet that uh, quite a few owners and CEOs are disengaged as well. Employee engagement only works as a democratic process. Everybody has to be responsible. Everyone has to step up to the plate or we simply lose the chain. I was just at a grocery store where the bagger didn't look up and say hello. The cashier uh, uh, handed me the, the money, the the back without uh, even smiling it walked out the door really wishing I'd never have to go there again and uh, we might find other people in that company really engaged and on fire with their work but unless everyone is uh, held accountable all the way up to the CEO uh, nothing's going to change you, you know you're absolutely right and it it shocks me that the CEOs many of which you know are earning a pretty penny uh, for for their their gifts, their talents, their expertise and leadership. Uh, if 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 you were making you know the money that many CEOs across America are making today, you would think that they would go out and get a bright pink tutu and put on their pom poms, and they would be the biggest cheerleaders for the not just employee engagement, but for every element of the employees. Let, let's talk a little bit about and and of course you're the author of the, the workplace engagement solution. Uh, find a common mission, vision, and purpose with all of today's employees. Let's talk in your perspective, from your perspective, about some skills that will help employees change and reinvent themselves. Because you're right, it is it, ultimately it's a it's a group sport. We got to we got to participate at every level. We've been giving seminars for 27 years. We have a little over 40,000 graduates and. Uh, these folks have come through our programs to transform their relationship towards work. We started working with companies years ago, but they were really afraid to give our two-day program to people because, God forbid, if they if they started looking at their life and defining what, what they wanted to do with their lives, it all pack up and leave. Right. But what's happened is that the rate of change has increased to such a degree. Uh, Ten years ago, we had the recession and people were really preoccupied with the recession but during the last 10 years the world of work changed so dramatically that virtually everybody is kind of uh, overrun and a little shocked right some people are uh, not keeping up with the changes 
New York Times recently did a poll where 48% of Americans indicated that they're underemployed. And what that means to me is that a good half of our country isn't keeping up with change, doesn't believe they can change. And so we need to teach people how to do that. Uh, We want self-reflection and skill self-reflection. So uh, in our work, we ask people questions. And it's the questions that really harnesses people's energy far more than telling people what to do, which they just shrug and say, so what? You know, you better do this and keep your job. Well, that's not going to engage people. We need to show people how to connect to others because for years in the Industrial Revolution, we might get one or two jobs during a career path. Today, we get 10 to 12, and the average college graduate today is going to change careers four to six times. Right, right. So those life skills of selling and being able to present and being able to build a community such as what you've done. It sure. Become skills that every worker really needs. Someone will tell, ask us, well, why should we teach our line workers how to make presentations? And I respond, well, because if they present their work, they own their work. And that's dramatically different. Yeah. And if they're just standing there in a trance. David, I'm, I'm constantly aware of the, the time here, so I want to make sure that we get uh, uh, an opportunity to direct our listeners. Where would you like them to pick up a copy of your book, The Workplace Engagement Solution? And then secondarily, how would you like them to connect with you? Well, thank you. Uh, our book is available at Amazon.com, at Career Press, my publisher, and virtually any bookstore. If you're a Prime me- uh, member, you can get it today. All right. Uh, Our website is inspiredworkservices.com. We give programs in Los Angeles once a month, and people fly in from all over the world to attend. They're pretty exciting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love that very, very much. Now, I got one more question for you. got about a minute left here. Uh, Mm -hmm. You you reference, and I heard you say it several times, and oftentimes we get in our in our heads of of uh, the language of our own vernacular, but you you keep using the the, the uh, pronoun we. We need to uh, guide and direct and help and train. And I think by that we you're you're referring to the people in the workforce, maybe the CEOs or the HR department or the leadership of a of an organization. But how do you feel about mentoring? And does that do does that take the place of the we? Is that is that who we're talking about? Yes, we uh, we advocate to companies and our client companies uh, select the the early adopters of these skills to become mentors. That's the way that we create sustainable engagement right. and growth in an organization. So, with with the waves of change getting bigger every day, we need people who are confident and strong with change to mentor others. So there, otherwise, we're going to have an enormous amount of people to take care of. Yep. No, I agree with you 100%. Uh, David Harder, you've been a fantastic interview. Thank you so much for joining us. The Workplace Engagement Solution is the number of the book. Go check his business out over at inspiredworkservices.com. And we'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Network. And when we return, we're going to talk about online business courses that'll make you smarter and they're free. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. 